decided to make and it's a little bit different than my normal videos. It's not about thriftiness or couponing or DIY project. It's actually about um, the, an FC on bagging, boxing, whatever. And I mentioned I had an FC video that I kind of talked about the first time I got it because I was so excited about it. I wanted to share about it with you, but I thought that I would do these um, on bagging videos every month. I don't know there's so many of them out there, but the reason I did it is for a few different reasons. One, I really like watching what everybody else gets, so it's kind of fun to see, you know, what is everyone getting? Because, you know, um, Ipsy is always different products, so I kind of like to see and compare and, you know, just to learn different stuff. It's fun. And then also, just because one of my New Year's resolutions this year um, was that I am not going to be buying any makeup this year other than my Ipsy bag, which my husband told me, he was like, isn't that kind of cheating? Because it's technically makeup. But that was kind of my one fun thing that I did for myself is that I buy the monthly subscription, you know, of the Ipsy. So that's kind of my one makeup beauty thing that I am doing because I'm not buying nail polish or any other makeup, even if it's on clearance, even if I have a coupon. Um, just because, as you know from my previous videos, I have way more than enough nail polish and makeup, so um, that's why. And so I just thought part of that, I just thought it'd be so fun to be able to kind of make these YouTube videos and just have a little bit more fun with it because it's my one <laughs> makeup thing, you know, for the month. So um, probably a lot of you already know what it is, but it's a monthly subscription. It's $10, which includes shipping, which is a pretty great value. I like that. <laughs> it comes in this pretty cute pink bag. Uh, now I'm usually not a pa fan of pink, but I like these little bags. It's fun. It's like a surprise in your mailbox every month. Um, and then there's a different bag for each month, and there's a theme for each month, as is with a lot of subscriptions. Um, and then you can take a quiz online, and it tells, you know, you can pick which beauty products you let them know, you know, about your skin type, your, um, your hair color, eye color, all that kind of stuff, which... A styles you prefer uh, for example like for me I picked like things like classic and then I picked natural so um, and they've been doing pretty well actually gearing towards like more organic products for me which I've liked the past few months I really like that so let's get started um, I'll have a link down below if you want to check it out if you want to subscribe um, but here we go so my first official unbagging technically hopefully more to come um, so the theme this year or this month is fresh start very fitting I think for the new year um, and I guess it just says a kickoff so clean the possibilities are endless so that's kind of there we go and this is the bag I think it's pretty cute I like I like when they're a little bit wider like this because some of the bags I've gotten are not really my favorite um, and but I do really like this one I think it's pretty it's better quality than the other ones that I've seen Okay, so what's in here, and I already do know because I pick on, peek on my glam room online because I'm not very patient and they send me an email telling me to peek, so I peek because it's harder to avoid it, so I just do it, so I'm not like going to pretend to be surprised because I know what it is, and also, this was a big troll by my camera, this is my second time recording this video because I recorded this video and it was great and funny, I thought, and so witty, and then... I went to go look and it didn't even record anything so hopefully this worked um so the first one and the one that i was really excited about was the pacifica eyeshadow and i really like pacifica brand um they you can find it i know at target they have it like the natural organic aisle which they have like the one aisle in target um but they're vegan and uh vegan and cruelty free and they're they don't have like the parabens and petroleums and all that kind of stuff um, and I have gotten some of their eyeshadows and eyeliner from Ipsy from Pacifica before and I really like it but there is this eyeshadow and it is the, um, the natural mineral coconut eyeshadow there's no smell I don't know I like sniffing just to make sure <laughs> and it's in the color treasure it's like that I'll swatch it a little bit it's very smooth kind of looks like that I feel like such a beauty guru, you know, like all the other people on YouTube that are actually beauty gurus and they kind of know what they're talking about, I feel like, I mean, I like to think I know a little bit. I'm trying. I'm learning here. It's pretty, it's a pretty color. It's like a little golden -y color. I feel like this color is a really nice color because you can actually, I feel like it's pretty versatile and more people would use it. That's one thing I do like about Ipsy. I have gotten pretty good shades and colors. Like, I don't want to get something that's like 
bright purple because when am I going to wear bright purple eyeshadow? You know, that's that's non school. That doesn't make sense for me. Anyway, there's that. I'll definitely be using that. Um, the second one, the second item that I got, and this is a brand I didn't know how to pronounce this, but Malin Plus Goetz. It's literally like a plus sign. It's a mojito, mojito lip balm. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I actually don't smell very much. I don't know. Maybe you have to put it on, but I'm not going to use it because you know me. I uh, Just in case I give this to somebody or use it later, but that's what it looks like. I just, I mean, I like lip products, but I feel like I like eye products more. I don't know. It's just kind of my thing. I'm not as excited by lip products, which mostly a lot of people really like lip stuff. And not that I don't, but I like eye stuff more, I feel like. Um, then I have a Nourish Organic Renewing Eye Cream that's avocado and organ. And it's normal to dry skin. And this one is certified, certified organic, which is nice. Um, and I have a Nourish Organic Cleanser from another Ipsy one thing like a few months ago. And I did use this earlier. I like it. I don't like it as much as my Modere eye cream that's pretty good it's just i mean it's just a cream it's not very like thick and it's not as thick as i would like it i feel like but i will see how this works i'm disappointed by it but we'll try it out and then i got this elizabeth mott eyeshadow brush um this is one thing i do like about ipsy that i do send tools but i was just kind of i was saying that i didn't really i just feel like all i've ever gotten is eyeshadow brushes and it's nice to have a few, but I feel like I have too many now. And I just don't need that many. Like, I wish they would send more of a little bit of a different brush, like a blush brush or, you know, like an eyebrow, you know, brush or, like, something else, like a con. I mean, I don't know. I just have so many eyeshadow brushes. I know they're each a little bit different, but I would like something else. That's my only complaint about that. But, um, and if it was blue, because I like blue a little better than pink. Or pretty much any other color besides orange. But anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm just everywhere today. So, um, yeah, there's that. And then me and my husband were actually talking about this. This is the product I'm most confused about. Um, I This is one other thing. Is I wish that Ipsy would tell us on a card, like, what it is and, you know, how to use it. Because for people like me who are learning more about beauty that I'm not, like, an expert or a guru, I don't know everything right away when I pick it up. So when I see this, I'm like, ooh, sparkly powder stuff. I don't know. So it's Bella Pierre Cosmetics. It's in the shade Excite. Exit. Excite. I don't understand these spellings. For a teacher, uh, for some reason it's challenging to read. It doesn't smell like anything. But it's like, I. it's just a, like a loose powder. Somebody tell me. But otherwise, I feel like it would be an eyeshadow, but like I would use it as like a base uh. under eyeshadow. Maybe. Yeah. My husband was just like, maybe it's just loose glitter. <laughs> just glitter. <laughs> Which I kind of, I mean, definitely is loose. I, it's not super pigmented. I don't know. Somebody tell me. I think, I'm guessing there's other shades. Did you get another shade? If you did, what is it? Tell me so I know how to properly use it. Otherwise, I'm just going to be putting it on my eyelids because I think that would be fun to do. And it's glittery, so why not? <laughs> anyway, there's everything that I got for this month. Um, so overall, I got wow, stuff. I'm just throwing stuff everywhere. I have four products. Um, I'm pretty sure this one, this one, are. I think this one actually also be full size because the lip balm. These three are full size, and this one is um, sample size. And then I have also the brush. So that's pretty good. Um, for ten dollars, I think that's a pretty good value. And then you know, a cute bag to reuse for things. Um, but yeah, so there's everything in my bag. Let me know what you got in your bag, and especially about this mysterious powder stuff. I'll be researching this more. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I actually, I just wanted to say, I was just so excited to do this video today. I, if you had seen my budget binder video, you saw that. Um, I had mentioned this really quickly that I had gotten out of the hospital and I'd been sick, and I actually was back in the hospital again this week, and so it's been a little bit rough, but thank you Jesus and my family and everybody has really been helping obviously the doctors and everybody but I was back today and I was telling my husband like I just was like so happy to be home and 
like you missed everything. I was like, oh, my chair, like my bed, you know, like all these little things, like even getting the mail, like my husband like brought me, you know, like mail at the hospital and I was so excited about mail just because you miss all that kind of stuff. And I just really wanted to make a YouTube video because I just thought, I just wanted to do something to, you know, get back to normal and do that. So, um, just really appreciating, you know, feeling better and not taking my health for granted. So I still have a little recovery, you know, ways to go, but I'm definitely a lot better than I was even a few days ago. So, um, yeah, so I hope that you are all feeling better and feeling healthy, especially with this new year, maybe making some goals to really take care of your health and really focusing on that because that has not always been a priority, unfortunately for me. And then I think it's kind of in the back of my mind. And so now that things have gotten like pretty serious this past month, it's kind of forced me to really focus and just put that first, you know, like to really focus on getting healthy, not take it for granted. So don't get to that point, you know, but, um, anyway, just so excited. So thank you so much for watching. Um, you know, like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'd love to hear from you and interact with you. So have a great day. Bye.